Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the monthly crystal healing for September video. <laughs> I know I gotta like change it. I gotta put a different title on there. Anyway, hey guys, I'm really happy to do the second part. This is for Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Cappy, Aquas, and Pisceans. Okay, I know you guys had to. Had to uh, I know you guys had to wait a little bit. My speech is a little altered because of this tongue, tongue, Jesus, because this cut that I'm dealing with. And yes, I'm gargling with hydrogen peroxide, so don't worry. Um, hmm. Hopefully, in the next videos I do, it won't be that bad. Anyway, guys. So the way this is this is going to work for those who are not used to these kinds of videos, I'm basically going to be using the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck here. See what crystals you guys um, need for the month of September, at least what's recommended by Spirit. And then we're also going to pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. Very, very brief. We're not going to go into detail on that. Keep in mind, guys, I will be reading uh, the descriptions for each crystal because you guys don't need to run out and get crystals if you don't really need them. These are general readings. They will not be for everyone. So that's why I'm going to read you the descriptions of the crystals so you can decipher for yourself if it's worth spending the money to go out and get these crystals. And also, guys, if you have this deck, you can actually use these cards um, in lieu of the crystals themselves. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's up to you if you want to get these crystals. You're the masters of your own life. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and get started with Libra. Just go in an order. Oh, Libras, 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 Libras. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of September? Mm, actually, Libras, why do I feel like you need calming crystals? Why do I feel like you need a call? You need some calm in your life. Why do I feel that way? Oh, Libras. What crystals do my Libras need for the month of September? I feel like Libras are gonna, you need a little bit more balance. I honestly feel like you need a little bit more balance, a little bit more calm. I don't know why I feel that way, but let's see what we get here. What crystals do my Libras need? Oh, <laughs> Lapis Lazuli, very nice. This is about communication in your throat chakra. It's also a card, um, a card, a crystal, excuse me. Um, a crystal that's um, really great for enhancing abundance, enhancing abundance. So what other crystals we get out here? Any other crystals that my Libras need for the month of September? I really feel like your balance is going to be needing to be get. Jesus, I can't talk. I'm sorry, guys. I really feel like your balance is going to have to be kept in check during the month of September. Keep in mind, we're going to be transitioning into Libra energy towards the mid uh, part of September and the, obviously the last half of September. What other crystals do my Libras need for the month of September? Oh, got a peeker. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is pretty. So guys, when it comes to crystals, I can't pronounce them that well. Just a fair warning, okay? <laughs> Lavender Argonite, Argonite, Argonite. Lavender Argonite. Don't worry, I'm gonna hold all these up again for you guys, so don't worry. So you're gonna know what these are. Any other crystals that my Libras need? Oh, nope, that's it. That's it. Okay. Lapis Lazuli and Lavender Argonite. I'm gonna hold those up a little bit longer so you guys can get a good look and see what crystals are being recommended. So let's go ahead and read these, okay? <laughs> and if any of these repeat for the signs in the video, I'm just gonna say which sign to go ahead and watch. I won't repeat the descriptions. Lapis Lazuli, Heavenly Wisdom. Lapis Lazuli wards, wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul, soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement, but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You are a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is spiritual dis-ease. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. El enlightenment. Element. <laughs> enlightenment is within your grasp. Enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed. Yours is the gift of true friendship. Protect yourself. This is great for attuning to your divine nature and enhances your well-being. It's a very high frequency and great for the throat, the third eye, and the crown chakra. Great for sagis and for divine reconnection. Very nice. Very nice, Libras. I like that. I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and read this other one here. Lavender Argonite. Environmental healing. Lavender Ar Argonite. <laughs> Heals your personal environment and Earth's meridian grid and raises the vibrations of the planet. 
Become comfortable in your own body and environment. You incarnated to be a guardian for the planet. You are a vehicle for purifying and healing the earth, reminding others that it is a sacred living being to be treated with respect. Pay attention to where you live within yourself. Do your inner housekeeping and nurture yourself. Become a vehicle for the healing of the environment by opening yourself to higher vibrational energies. Do not participate in anything that despoils the planet or diminishes its resources. Work with your powerful and work with your power animal. Your powerful animal. Work with your power animal and nourish your inner being. Take no risks and avoid excesses. If your environment is unhealthy and disharmonious, disharmonious, it cannot support well-being. Transform it and well-being returns. The frequency of the stone is high. It aligns the throat, the third eye, the base, the soul star, and the stellar gateway. It's great for Tauruses, Virgos, Cappies, and Aquas, and for healing the environment. Oh, Libra. <laughs> All right. So it seems like there's something about your environment that is kind of toxic. This is before we even get in the, into the cards, okay? Something about your environment is clearly toxic, and it's something that you need to, to be very cognizant of, and something that you, you clearly want to heal and deal with, whether it's just in your own family, or just your actual physical environment, or your energetic field. Also, there's this, there's this communication energy that's a, bit, a big part of that, a big part of that. So let's go ahead and pull some cards, see why you need these stones. Why do my Libras need these stones for the month of September? I just heard October. Interesting. You might need these for October as well, or even just for your season. You might need these for your season, Libra, just saying. Why do my Libras need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Libras need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Libras need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Libras need these stones for the month of September? Libras, a lot of you have been feeling disconnected from spirit. For those who have abilities or those who are light workers, you've been feeling disconnected from spirit. Um, this is to help with that, especially if you have any negativity. Oh, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if some of you have negative energy in your environment or someone's been sending you negative energy. This could also just be toxic family situations, toxic roommates, things of that nature. There's something very negative in your environment for some of you. And you, if you're resonating with that, you already know. You already know. These stones will just help you with that. Any other? Oh, there we go. Full in reverse. Oh, interesting. Aries energy. Could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. You're afraid to take action on something, Libra. And I feel like that's just because your balance has been off. And if you have your, your balance with you, I don't think you're going to be that afraid to, to go ahead and say something or do something. But definitely you've been feeling compelled to take action on something or to speak to speak on something but something's been holding you back something's been holding you back why do my libras need these crystals for those dealing with negative energy that it's acted as a block actually for those who've been dealing with negative energy in their in your environment it's been acting as a bit of a block for you <laughs> the tower in reverse oh libras scorpionic energy could also be aries because it's mars something's happened libra I feel like it's already happened. Whatever this tower moment has been for you, it's left like a like a signature. Thank you. It's like trigger's not the word, a signature. Oh, some of you could have left a trigger, like a wound that you know leads to triggering. And whatever it is, Libra, like I said, it's left a bit of a signature of like negative energy around you. Yeah. Whatever this tower moment is, whatever it is. Um, and it's it's created a little bit of a block for you to take action on something or to speak on something. And I feel like it's directly related to this tower moment. Let's see what else we have here. Why else do my Libras need these crystals for the month of September? Why else do my Libras need these crystals for the month of September? Ooh, who is this? Oh, Libra. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Now we have a King of Wands, Leo energy. Could also be fire or air with the Queen of Swords in reverse, Libra. Uh, could also be air or water. Libra, I definitely feel like this is you. You're not talking to somebody. You're not talking to somebody, but deep down, you really want to say something. King of Wands, whoever this energy is to you, Libra, keep in mind it can be vice versa. And again, this isn't for everybody. Uh, Libra, whoever this is, it's someone who, who likes to talk a lot, is actually what I'm getting. They like to talk a lot. 
they're running around all the time. There's something about this person though that feels a little oppressive, feels a little bossy. I don't know, I feel that way. Yeah, they feel a little oppressive, a little bossy. Their energy is just really strong, almost too strong. Almost too strong. Uh, and there's there's something about like giving them the cold shoulder. Something happened. I feel like this was an argument of some kind and like it's created a little bit of a block for you because I think you want to act on it or speak on it, whatever actually happened between you and this King of Wands, but you're not really talking. So you're holding back. Overall, we have the High Priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Underneath that, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Aquarian energy, Ace of Pentacles in reverse underneath that. Libra, your intuition holds the key. And these cards are also for intuition as well. Uh, these cards, I keep saying cards. These crystals, excuse me. These crystals are also for enhancing your intuition, okay? Specifically that one over there. Um, but yeah, Libra, you know, you know, you know something happened. I think you might have challenged this king or they might have challenged you because deep down, uh, something definitely was sabotaged, some kind of stability or opportunity was sabotaged. It could have even been uh, something about money. It could have been something about money. And it caused a tower moment and now you're in a place where it's like, I want to say something to them. <laughs> I need to say something to them. Or I need to do something. I need to do something. Like some of you are feeling that way. Yeah, whatever this tower moment was, it left a little bit of a sting. It left a little bit of a signature, like I said, like a wake of negative energy around you or in your environment. It's definitely in your environment. It's in your environment very specifically. I don't know why they wanted me to repeat that, but they wanted me to repeat that. So pay attention to your environment if you feel like it's off. It could have even happened with like a father. Could even happen with like a father. I don't know why I'm getting father energy here. Um, either way, it was something shitty. And you're left with the stain, the signature, the signature of negative energy, the sting of it. And you're like, I got to do something. <laughs> this ain't okay. I got to do or say something. So Libras, these crystals, lavender argonite and uh, lapis lazuli will help you with that. Okay. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous for you. <laughs> I know there's a lot of energy around you. Mm. I like Scorpios are going through a lot in September and I'm a little nervous. You might get a lot of crystals. I would not be surprised if you get like four crystals. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Hi, Scorpio, you're hiding. Why are you hiding? They just, they just show me a, like quite, my guides are very literal with me quite a lot. They just show me a scorpion under a rock. Like, yeah, you're hiding. Feeling a little threatened too. Interesting. You're on guard. You're watching people. You're observing. Scorpio, for some reason you feel you feel a little threatened. Some of you are even to the point where you're actually triggered. Um, and you're taking a very Scorpionic stance about it. Like Scorpios will sting you and then run away and then be done with you. But Scorpio, you're actually actively watch, watching people. You're observing people around you and how they treat you and what they're saying. Scorpio, I feel like you're really mistrusting right now. Okay, some of you might have just some okay. Coming to September, some of you guys might have had a bit of a tower yourselves. But, and if you if we get the tower card again, <laughs> you and Libra, man. You and Libra. Okay. Scorpios. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of September? They're showing me a green stone. I don't even have any cards out here and they're showing me stuff. They're showing me a green stone and definitely rose quartz. We might not get the actual cards out here, but I'm just telling you, they're showing, I don't know what kind of stone this is. Oh, Malachite, thank you. Malachite. <laughs> Malachite. Malachite and Rose Quartz. Scorpio, are you hiding from love? I think you're hiding from love. You're either hiding from love or like hiding from like the emotions of love. Something like that. You could also be overwhelmed. It's like Scorpios, Scorpios do like love and attention when it comes to dating but they don't like to have a lot of options scorpios don't libras do scorpios don't though no shade libras um you know your neighbors your neighbors yeah scorpio something's freaking you out okay anyway you might be overwhelmed by suitors what stones do my chris my crystals <laughs> this is the last video of the day it's been a long day what stones do my Scorpios need for the month of September? What stones do my Scorpios need for the month of September? They're also, oh, interesting. Now they're showing me black tourmaline and, and moonstone. I don't think there's a moonstone card in this deck. Um, 
Moonstone will probably be for the full moon in Pisces. I actually wear it myself. It's it's really good for cancers or anybody who has a really, really, really um, strong um, water moon sign. Uh, so Scorp Scorpios, just keep that in mind, especially if you're like a Cancer moon, Piscean moon, or a Scorpio moon. Uh, you might want to wear some moonstone this time around, and it is a full moon in Pisces. Black tourmalines for protection as well. And like I said, you're feeling a little threatened or on guard for whatever reason or another. Um, and again, these crystals might not come out. It's just what I'm getting intuitively. Actually, we have nothing out yet. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of September? Let's see. Oh, such a Scorpionic crystal. Moldavite. Moldavite. You're changing, Scorpio. Not surprising. Not surprising you do that in your sleep. Uh, Moldavite. That's the first one out here. Scorpio, there's something that's changing about... I feel like internal. Internal? Oh, okay. My guys just repeated to me what I always say to you. Internal to the external. So Scorpios, some of you are going through an internal transformation. Uh, others of you, you've already had that recently and it's starting to come through in your external environment and it's putting you on guard a little bit. That's interesting because Scorpios are usually fine with that. It must be a really big change for some of you. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of September? Yeah, you're having a hard time with whatever this change is. Menolite. <laughs> Just, I just needed a minute. Menolite, Menolite, Menolite. Okay, all right, let's see what other ones. It actually, it's funny. It almost reminds me of Moonstone, like that white. Reminds me of Moonstone. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of September? What other crystals or stones do my Scorpios need for the month of September? Oh, okay, only two. Okay, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these descriptions here. Let's see, Moldavite. Metamorphosis. Moldavite was created when a giant meteorite slammed into Earth some 11 million years ago, fusing the power of the cosmos with that of Mother Earth. You are a child of the stars and find the environment of Earth heavy and inert. Moldavite raises your vibrations with in-flooding cosmic lights so that you feel more at home. You are on search for the inner grail, awareness of your divine origins, release ingrained beliefs to make way for spiritual metamorphosis. Detach yourself from mundane issues. You're going through a spiritual transformation. So dramatic changes occur as you reach beyond your limits. Talk to your soul to check the outcome of present actions. Transcend time. Avoid sowing seeds of destruction. Fertility and good fortune await. You are far more than a physical body. Harmony at all levels creates your well-being. The frequency of this stone is high and earthy. It's great for all, all chakras and also great for Scorpios. No surprise. Uh, integration of the physical and the spiritual. All right, so on to Menolite. I keep wanting to say Mentolite, but I know that's not what it is. It's Menolite. Ooh. Oh, Scorpios. Whatever this changes, Scorpio, by your season, you're, you're gonna be you're gonna be a powerhouse. I'm just I'm excited. I'm excited. Menolite, the wise feminine. Menolite was a profound connection with Earth, the wise feminine and priestess power. It marks rites of passage through womanhood to wisdom. You are an immortal soul who is an embodiment of the wise feminine. Express this to your body and actions. Go deep into yourself to find your connection to Mother Earth. Sit in her womb of healing. In meditation, you heal your soul. Put aside fear and remember that transitions are necessary prerequisites for growth. Honor your sacred sexuality. Mm. Make rites of passage joyfully. Sorry, I had to pause after that one. Um, experience a period of gestation. To move would not be beneficial now. Nurture yourself and bide your time. Withdraw into your inner world to accept necessary change. Make your soul whole and find power allies. You know when it is time for rebirth. Yes, you do, Scorpios. Maturation is a process for growing wiser. The soul and the heart do not age. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. Oh, same as Moldavite. Interesting. It's great for the root and the sacral. Oh, Scorpios. Scorpio. I really feel like there's a lot of love attached to this. Like I was playing the Rose Quartz and the Mal uh, Malachite. If you guys really love those stones, I definitely suggest you get them anyway. They're especially Malachite. Malachite. Um, they're telling me especially Malachite. Anyway, Scorpios. Some of this change might be because you have a new love interest coming in or it's like the universe is preparing you for the one or preparing you for a really intense connection and you need to make sure that you're 
healed enough and ready for it. Okay, that's definitely for some of you. This is great for Taurians, Virgos, and Capricorns and expressing the divine feminine. Oh, Scorpio. Okay, all right. Let's get into why you need these crystals. I'm excited because I'm feeling a lot of sacral energy now. Ah, Scorpios. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of September? Some of you might really benefit from Tantra in September. Just saying. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of September? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of September? Okay, that feels good. All right. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of September? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of September? Oh, well, well, okay, fine. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be earth or uh, fire, uh, fire, water, 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 water. Oh, Scorpios, give a deal with a fire sign. I've <laughs> been doing a lot of that today. Anyway, Scorpios, Queen of Pentacles has come out. You've been really focused on your stability. You've been really focused on your stability. But, you know, I feel a longing here. I feel a longing in this, actually. I feel a little bit of a sadness. Oh, Scorpio, you've been fo so focused on you, building up your life, getting more stable, getting more financially stable. You might have even been taking care of family. Oh, and look what's on the bottom. King of Pentacles in reverse. I was just about to say, I feel a longing for a counterpart. I really do. I feel a little bit of a heavy, a little bit of a heavy weight in the heart here uh, for a counterpart or someone to share it with, someone to share it with. I think a lot of you are in that space where it's like, you know, I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's time to actually share with someone. But you're having a hard time with that. I, Scorpios, I feel like there's some more pain here you need to work on and heal. And I think that's why you are going through a bit of a transformation in September. And I think the universe pretty much knows that you need a little, like a, a little knock into dealing with some of that pain. It's gonna be an emotional one for you, Scorpio. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse. Open that heart chakra, man. Cap more Capricorn energy. A lot of Cappy energy with this. Could be a little Capricorn, but not necessarily. Um, but yeah, this is opening that heart chakra. This is releasing and letting go. Scorpios, release anything that hasn't worked out in your favor or hasn't worked in relationships or anything that's hurt you. It's time to be open. And Scorpios, you're usually not afraid to be open, but I, I really feel some deep wounding coming up for you here, and that's part of your transformation. That's part of your transformation. It needs to come out. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? Ooh. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of September? Yeah, I feel like it's getting me ready. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of September? Wow. The last card, Hierophant, Taurian energy. Mm. Scorpio, this is a lot of earth energy. And this is Taurus, your natural seventh, I'm just saying. Um, and there is a lot of spiritual growth involved in this. And we already knew that just from the uh, crystals that are being recommended to you. Um, it's, it's time to really surrender to that. It's time to surrender to the really painful shit that you haven't really looked at. And Scorpios, you usually do look at painful shit. You're not afraid to go there. But... There are even some places in hell that Scorpios don't go to. Just like there are some places in hell the devil doesn't go to, right? <laughs> right? Uh, it's time to go there, okay? It's time to go there. It's going to hurt, but it's, it'll feel good. I mean, look at that. Can you not see the sadness in that face? Can you not feel it? I feel like that pentacle she's looking at is like burdens, actually. And with this energy, it's, it's to release that. It's to release that and follow your intuition, follow your spirituality to do that even if it's through meditation or whatnot, because you need to open up because I do feel like commitment's coming in for you. I do feel like commitment's coming in. A lot of pentacle energy, a lot of earth energy. You have Taurus, you have Cappy here, really strong. Overall, you ready, Scorps? Ten of Cups. Yeah, Piscean energy. Scorpios, a commitment is trying to manifest for some of you. And I also say that because underneath that was the magician. <laughs> Mercurial energy, Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aqua or Scorpio. For me as a reader, divine masculine energy. 
it's being manifested. It's being, it's trying to come in that 10 of cups, that ultimate happiness, ultimate fulfillment is trying to come in. But Scorpio, you've done so much for yourself that you have done a lot of work, but there's still a couple little blocks that you have to release here in order to have the actual 10. You're probably at the nine, to be honest with you, you're probably at the nine. But if you want that 10, you got to get all the little creamy, creamy crumbs out of there. Okay. Oh, Scorpio, always intense, always lovely. <laughs> always lovely to get intense with you. All right, Sagis, you're next. Mm. Okay. Sagis, 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 Sagis. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of September? Mm. What crystals do my Sagittarians need for the month of September? Sag, you're a little restless. You're, I mean, you're Sag. I guess that's not surprising. Um, not surprising, not surprising. Uh, but Sag, there's something about your, your energy that I'm getting a little anxious. It's actually bothering my stomach. It's actually making me a little nauseous. Um, I think you got a lot on your plate right now. I think you got a lot on your plate. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of September? Oh, <laughs> almost lost all the cards. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of September? What crystals do my Sagis need? Anandalite. <laughs> I think I need new glasses too. Anandalite. Anandalite is your first crystal. Let's see what else we have here. Getting a lot of crown chakra energy with that. A lot of crown chakra energy. What? Am I taking these? Ah, okay. You got three other crystals that came out here. Oh, damn. I thought I felt black tourmaline. Okay. <laughs> Rainbow Mayanite. Aquamarine. Oh, I love that crystal. And then black tourmaline. All right. Let's see if any others want to come out. Like I said, Sag, you got a lot on your plate and you are restless during this time. Of course, a Sag, you would have four crystals. Any other crystals for my Sagis for the month of September? Any other crystals for my Sagis for the month of September? Nope. All right. That's it. Okay, Sag, let's get into this. Let's see here. 25. Come on. Okay, there we go. Anandalite. Focus. There we go. Cosmic consciousness. Anandalite gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages standing in the way of spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is om om omniscient and omnipresent. Excuse me. Seeing all and knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different dimension of consciousness. Recognize that you previously operated with a narrow band of awareness. Attune to flashes of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away and embrace unity. You are here to ex experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have exceptionally clear sight now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, humanity experiences a quantum shift. Enlightenment can happen right now. You are a part of everything and everything is a part of you. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Uh, it cleanses and activates all the chakras. It's great uh, for any sign and for becoming a vessel for cosmic consciousness. Ooh, Sag. Okay. All right. Starting off a little heavy. <laughs> Starting off a little heavy and a little serious. Rainbow Mayanite, the Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Mayanite bridges this world and the rest of creation. It heals unconditionally and assists the shift to a new level of consciousness. I just heard humanitarian. Sagis, in September, you guys might be feeling the need to do a lot of humanitarian work or volunteer work. Uh, and if you're not feeling that, that might actually benefit you quite a bit for whatever reason or another. I Oh, I just heard abundance. It might actually lead to some more opportunities regarding work or money. Okay? All right. You are a leader. When you raise your vibrations, the whole benefits. De-energize old patterns. Release karmic incrustations and to toxic droves from your etheric body. This crystal will assist in this. Go within to find your rainbow treasure house. <laughs> oh, I like that. Raise your consciousness to build new supportive structures at every level. Recognize how your soul is maneuvering you onto your true pathway. Apparently, detrimental situations offer soul gifts. <laughs> okay, whoever wrote this entry was funny. <laughs> Re-examine projects and let go of those that are not for your highest good or that of others. You see things from both sides. Always speak true no matter what the cost, but be tactful. Saggy, be tactful. 
Uh, you have natural healing ability. Focus it wisely. Letting go attunes you to the realm of infinite possibilities. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high, uh, and it's great for the soul star and stellar gateway, great for aquas, and for being a rainbow bridge between worlds. Very nice. Very nice. Aqua. Almost called you aqua. Very nice, Sag. Very nice, Sag. <laughs> Can we know in the Aquarius? All right, so let's read Aquamarine, speaking of aquas. A stone always remind Aquamarine always reminds me of Aquariuses. Always. I don't know if it's one of your stones, but it always reminds me of you guys. Of you aquas, not you Sagis. You guys get what I'm saying. Okay. Aquamarine. Hope. Aquamarine has long been a healing gem associated with the sea and also with stimulating psychic abilities. It was believed to protect against seduction. Ooh. You are deeply intuitive, but you need to assess the, the, this realistically. Do not be seduced by vivid imaginings, wishful thinking, or spiritual claptrap. Use your imagination to create what is for your highest good and well-being follows. If you fall into depression, remember that hope shines into the darkest of places. Release self-defeating programs. Listen to, your, listen to your inner guidance, but be objective. Accept what's an offer. Watch out for idle gossip. Tie up loose ends before moving on. Remain emotionally detached. Avoid procrastination. Success may come in a court case. Stay positive and remember your family. There is no reason to lose hope in your heart since well-being is a state of mind. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the third eye and the throat chakra. Great for Arians, Geminis, Scorpios, and Pisceans. And for seeing beyond consensual reality or illusion. Oh, this is interesting, Sag. So, I mean, and then Black Tourmaline is like hardcore protection. Sag, I feel like a lot of you might be trying to figure out if someone's after you. I know how that sounds, but that's actually how I, I, how I really wanted to say it. I think you might be trying to figure out if someone's been surveillancing you, after you. I'm like, I just, I have this, with all the cards we've read so far, and I will read Black Tourmaline for those that are not familiar with that stone, uh, but it's definitely this energy of going within, tapping into your intuition to figure shit out and see it realistically. And this, and this is also kind of an energy of protection as well and having positive thinking and hope that things will work out for the better followed by needing to protect yourself. So Sag, I'm a little worried. I gotta be honest, I'm a little worried. Um, especially that like one of these mentioned a court case. I just hope that whatever it is you feel you need protection in that you will get it. You will. They just said you will. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, you will. You will, Sag. You're in the right. Oh, are we are we getting a download, people? Are we getting a download? You will get justice, Sag. I'm getting a lot of heavy sadness all of a sudden. Okay, I don't want to go there. But you will get justice is what I heard. Black tourmaline protection. Black tourmaline absorbs negative energy and absorbs, affords, excuse me, affords excellent energetic protection, enhancing your physical vitality. You are adaptive, adjusting to new places and new situations. You have clarity of thought, analyze situations rapidly. Let go of your over-consciousness cautiousness excuse me cautiousness but stay protected you sense that when people wish you ill you may be carrying a family or past life curse creating disease recognize that negative thoughts and actions harm others and yourself strengthen your protection consolidate plans and be realistic you'll soon see the way through obstacles ensure you are well protected ill wishing or envy may be directed your way neutralize bad energy without harm to others watch your thoughts attend to practical matters be generous and give others freedom neutralizing toxic energies from your environment shielding yourself from ill wishing or emf stress and detoxifying your body supports well-being the frequency of the stone is earthy it's great for the root 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 chakra <laughs> great for capricorns and for appropriate energy shielding and enhancement oh cappies okay nope Sagis, Jesus. I, I gotta I gotta be talking to a cusper for sure with a Saggy cap reference. And Aquas, like I said, I don't know where that came from. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Sagis, don't mean I don't mean to offend you. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some cards and see why you need these stones. Why do my Saggies need these stones? For the month of September. Why do my Sagis need these stones for the month of September? Hmm. You're just blessed, Saggy. You're just blessed. Why do my Sagis need these stones for the month of September? Why 
Why do my Saggies need these stones for the month of September? You know, Sag, I just gotta say, I think maybe some of you are really dealing with a Capricorn or Capricorn energy, or you have that in your chart or something, because during the Capricorn reading, the last one I, no, I did one today, but the one before that, I was saying Sag a lot. So I think there's a connection there for some of you, okay? Or there's something, something going on between Jupiter and, and uh, Saturn. Yeah, there might be something going on between Jupiter and Saturn, aspect-wise. What am I? Let's see what we got here. Oh my. Oh. We've got two of cups. Uh, can't searing energy could also be soulmate energy for me as a reader. Two of wands in reverse, Aries energy, and we have the king of wands. Uh, Leo energy could also be fire or air. There's someone in love, Sag. You two are in love with each other. Oh, sorry. My, my crown just like went blah, like I don't I don't know how to describe this, but I'm sure the light workers have felt this before where it just was like a burst of like energy out of your head, like a energy fart. Like I don't know how to describe that. Anyway, sorry, sometimes it makes me a little lightheaded. Saji, you and this person are in love with each other, but there's indecision dividing the two. There's indecision here. But a king of wands is usually very decisive. So Saj, it could be you. You could be not sure about this person, but I'm getting indecision that separates you two. Why do my Saggies need these crystals? Why do Saggies need these crystals for the month of September? Yes, yeah, Sag, I think you don't trust this person for some reason. Why do my Saggies need these crystals for the month of September? I feel like they're also watching you. I feel like they're keeping an eye on you. Let's see here. Wow. Cherry in reverse. Can't serene energy. No forward movement. Two of Pentacles. Cap energy with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy, clarity, and then we end with the Five of Pentacles. Ooh, Taurian energy. Overall, we have the Seven of Pentacles, more Taurian energy, and then we have the Three of Pentacles underneath that, Capricorn energy. I think you, you, I think you are deciding, Sag, that it's not a good idea to invest in this person. Or I think you might have decided to not invest in this person. I, I'm not liking this energy, Sag. It's actually making me really uncomfortable. So there's a soul connection here with this person. I'll say soul connection. If you don't love this person anymore, you definitely love them at one point in time. But the indecision divides you. And I feel like it's mostly coming from you because they have their eye on you. They have their eye on you for sure. But there's no forward movement here. There's no commitment here. Someone couldn't figure out um, what was going on. It's like someone was trying to, yeah, Sag, this is your energy. You're spending time trying to figure out what this person's really up to, what they're really about. And then you gain clarity and we end with a five of pentacles. You either find out that they have, like, they, they're not who they say they are. Or that you really want to just like be done with them and no longer talk to them or collaborate with them because you spend time thinking about it. You spend time thinking about it, but there's emotion here. Oh, Sag. Oh, damn it. I want to clarify this. I don't have time now. <laughs> the Scorpio is like, I gotta know. Um, okay. Just really quick. Hmm. Just really quick. I want to look at the Seven of Cups in reverse and look at the, the clarity. And I'm just going to use the Kipper deck here. Okay. What's this clarity that Sag is going to be gaining? I feel like you're going to be gaining this. Oh, that's too many. So I have the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's, you're finding out someone is not who they say they are. Poverty. Poverty and the poverty card. Okay. Um, and again, you could just be realizing that maybe you don't want to deal with this person, so you're kind of putting them out in the cold. So I have the Seven of Cups in reverse for Saggy. Wealthy man. Oh, shit. Sag, you're realizing that someone who says they have a lot has doesn't have shit. That's what you're realizing. I think you're realizing someone has lied to you. But they still have their eye on you. Like, heavily have their eye on you. So I have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And I think you're feeling that, which is why they're recommending this. So that the person is not energetically checking in on you king of wands it knows how to manipulate energy just like a queen of wands does queen of wands is more proficient at it um but king of wands is very capable of that and they're definitely eyeing you so i have seven of cups in reverse for sagittarius all right now we have 
Judication with the energy of 30, breaking down to a three and family room, another three here with the 21. Uh, adjudication is basically where two parties are at, at odds and there's some kind of mediator to either bring them together or to, t or to tear them apart, okay? Um, I do feel a little bit of court proceedings here. You might be finding out that someone's actually married and going through a divorce. And I only say that because marriage is at the bottom. Oh, and look, main male, courtship with the fantasy card. With the freaking fantasy card. Saggies, some of you, this person isn't who they say they are. They, they, you know, they might tell you, oh yeah, I have a lot of money. I have this, I have that. They truly don't have anything. And that some of them are going through divorce proceedings while they're fantasizing about you or wanting to start something about you. And you could also be on the flip end of that where you could be divorcing this person and feeling the need to protect yourself. Others, I'm getting actually like divine intervention here where... There's something about you, Sag, where they feel wealthy, where they might feel really lonely in, in general or don't really have very much. And there's something about your energy that makes them feel amazing, like they have everything in the world. And there's some divine intervention here trying to bring you two together. Family room is also an energy of, um, it's not an energy, excuse me. It's also a timeline card. It's also a timeline card of 24 hours to a month out. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. And this is for the month of September. Um, and all the while they're fantasizing about not only dating you, but also making you their their spouse okay even underneath that we have house <laughs> literally home put them up in my house okay <laughs> others could be losing a home we have despair underneath that losing a home in court proceedings yeah sad whoever this is you just don't trust them because for most of you i think they're not who they say they are okay trust your intuition on that one sag all right that's not gonna be for everybody that's only for some of you Ooh. all right see i had to go in that for some reason that was very important cappies Okay, cabbies. My Capricorns. Oh, are you in your feels too? Oh, Capricorns. Okay. What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of September? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of September? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of September? What crystals do my Capricorns need for the month of September? You guys are very quiet. What crystals do my Capricorns need? Oh, geez. Oh, that's too many. That's too many, Spirit. That's too many. I'm not taking those. Fine. <laughs> they spit what? Excuse me. They spit one back out at me. Pink granite. Pink granite. Let's see what other ones. Any other crystals for my cappies? <laughs> An andalite. I won't repeat this one. This was in uh, Saggy's reading for those who just skipped over to cap. This was in Saggy's. So if you want to hear about an andalite, please go ahead and back up to um, Sagittarius. Okay. What other crystals do my cappies need? What other crystals do my cappies need for the month of September? What other crystals do my cappies need for the month of September? Oh, that's it. Okay, cappies, you're not in a bad place. So a lot of crown chakra energy for you. Your intuition is trying to tell you something. Let's go ahead and look at pink granite. And like I said, uh, for those who just went into cap and skipped through, this one was in Saggy's reading. So please go ahead and back up to that if you need to decide for yourself if you want that crystal or not. Okay, but let's read pink granite. Where'd the book go? There it went. <laughs> pink granite, the lightning bolt. Pink granite has the highest paramagnetic resonance of all stones and creates immense energy. You are an ancient Egyptian with the arcane knowledge the role entails, but you originated in the stars. You understand cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, and immortality. You have been involved in ancient power struggles. Cut yourself loose. I'm feeling, I'm feeling whatever you're dealing with, Cap, in September, it has to do with past lives. Sorry, that's hitting me really strong. It has to do with some wounding from a past life or maybe even just a past relationship, but I'm feeling heavy past life energy for you, okay? Um, where was I? Cut yourself loose. Become more grounded. Learning experiences occur regularly and serendipitous synchronicities put you in exactly the right place at the right time. Be assertive and make things happen. Events move with surprising speed once you focus your intention. Where are we at? 44 minutes? Oh, just a heads up. In a couple minutes, it's going to make a second video, so you might lose a second. Don't worry. 
I don't know why it does that. I can't figure out why it does that or how to change it. Sorry. Working on a new setup. Uh, let's see. Mm. See the whole picture before deciding. Be pragmatic, but don't give your power away. Maintain balance in a relationship. You need diplomacy intact. Lightning can strike twice. If dealing with ancient strife, look at the bigger picture. Everything must pass away. Death precedes transformation and rebirth. Uh, this is a stone that has an earthy and high frequency. It's great for all the chakras, great for any sign, and a lightning conductor for positive change. All right, Cappy. So let's go ahead and see why you need these stones here. Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Cappies need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Cappies need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Cappies need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? Justice, Libra energy. Ooh, very nice, very nice, Cappy. Finding your balance here, finding your balance. I'm also, oh, why did I bring up family, Capricorn? don't feel heard I don't know what that's about I think that's oh it's a wound for some of you it's a wound and you are getting justice here you will be heard you will be heard Capricorn um it's just about growing within first growing from within and healing some wounds especially those relating to past lives um and through that you'll find your voice with whoever it is that's not hearing you definitely finding balance as well amongst other people your relationships. Yeah, yeah, Capricorn, I feel like you're going to be going through some kind of spiritual growth through the month of September. Some of you are going to be purging a little bit. It might be a little sad for some of you guys, but it's bringing balance to you and your environment and the people that you are connected to. And you're going to be heard. Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? Wow, Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. You feel like things have been a little stormy, a little hard to manage, a little hard to navigate. People haven't made it easy. I just heard people haven't made it easy. It's kind of like, you feel like your peace has always interrupted, Capricorn, is what I'm getting. You feel like your peace has always been interrupted? As of late, a couple months, like the last couple months, you feel like you can't find any peace whatsoever. Why do my Capricorns need these stones for the month of September? That damn King of Wands, man. Everyone's dealing with the King of Wands. It's, I guess it's just the energy that we're in. It's just the energy we're in. Wow. Cappy. King of Wands. Leo energy could also be fire or air with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. I'm hearing a lot of indulgence has gone on. Capricorn. A lot of indulgence has gone on. Overall energy. Seven of Cups in reverse. And then we have Eight of Wands in a verse, more Sag energy. Four of Wands in a verse, Aries energy. Gaining clarity as to why something hasn't worked or why there's been a major delay when it comes to a relationship or a foundation or why there's been a lot of miscommunication in the home or the family environment. Oh, come back. Yeah, Cappy, some of you, this is gaining clarity why people can't really act right in the house <laughs> or in the family. Okay, gaining clarity on that. I feel like one drinks a lot i feel like these are two different people and cappy i don't even feel like you're any one of these people i actually feel like you're acting as the justice card bringing in harmony and balance and peace and quiet to a situation because you need to for your own sanity yeah for your own sanity i do feel like this is going on in the home i feel like you have someone who overindulges a lot well this one like does a lot does that make sense where it's like this one's cleaning this one's cooking this one's doing this this one's doing that this one's making plans this one's like, 
a motivator, very proactive, a little chaotic. This person's energy is a little chaotic. And this person, I feel like, just sits there and enjoys the splendors of this person's work. Yeah, this person just like, they like to drink, they like to eat, they like to spend money, and they like to sit on the couch and watch TV. And this person's constantly going around doing stuff, constantly going around doing stuff, trying to maintain the household. And this one's sitting on their butt. And it's upsetting. And Capricorn, I think you've tried to say something about this because it's something you're witnessing. But it's just caused chaos in the home or in the family or in the relationship. If it's a relationship, I feel like you're probably more this person. Constantly going around doing stuff, doing stuff, doing stuff while the other person is just sitting on their butt not doing anything. And it's this this whole month is about bringing balance to that and really speaking your truth, really speaking your peace and being like, this is the shit that needs to change. And you are going to hear me, and especially for those where there's a family situation. There's probably some family wounding here that really needs to be addressed. And Capricorn, you will be doing your own healing with your own wounds because I definitely felt that sadness and that pain. And I think watching these two people, and again, Capricorn, if it's just between you and another person, this is definitely you. Um, it's really kind of hurt. It's also made you angry if it's just between you and another person, but it's really kind of hurt because it's just upsetting to see. Okay? Wow. Okay. Aquas, 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 aquas. All right, get some water here. Mm. Sorry, guys, that cut. Just wanted some water to sit on it for a little bit. Okay. Aquas, 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 aquas. What's up with my Aquarians for the month of September? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of September? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of September? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of September? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of September? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of September? What crystals do my Aquarians need for the month of September? Ha! <laughs> okay. Metalite. It's funny because who had this? Scorpio. Scorpio had this. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, I was saying this one else. So Scorpio had this aquas. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have that in your chart. Um, so please go ahead and if you want this description for this crystal to decide if to decide if you want it or not, please go ahead and check out Scorpio. But this is basically like a divine feminine energy, okay? <coughs> aquas, what are you doing? Mm. Let's see here. A lot of sacral energy for you, Aqua. I'm also getting a lot of creativity. I'm actually getting a lot of creativity and just like a lot of fun with that. A lot of yearning to just kind of be fun and creative and come up with new shit and paint and write and all of that stuff. It's a really beautiful energy, which does come from your sacral, that creative energy, right? What other stones do my aquas need for the month of September? I just heard December. So maybe December will be significant for you aquas. What crystals do my aquas need for the month of September? What crystals do my aquas need for the month of September? Interesting. Okay. What other crystals do my aquas need for the month of September? Oh, geez. Oh, aqua, you got four. You got four. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, aquas. I'm sorry. Your sacral is going to be quite active for the month of September. <laughs> quite active. Trigonic Quartz is the next one out. I'm going to read all these to you. Bloodstone. Oh, no, I'm not going to read Menelite. That's right. Remember, Scorpio had that, which is funny because your sacral is going to be on point and freak crazy and on fire. And sacral is ruled by Scorpio. So interesting. The Aquas, you might, got some, you might have something going on with Scorpio, I'm just saying. And then Garnet. Ooh, more creative energy, more creative energy and a lot more sacral energy. So let's go ahead and read these three again. Menelite is the other stone that came out, but I will not be reading it because Scorpio had that already. Get a good look. This is your first stone. Divine feminine energy, sacral energy, creative energy. Okay, 
All right. So let's start it off with trigonic quartz. Hi. Okay. Trigonic quartz. The soul's cold. 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 The soul's cold. Oh, geez, Aqua. <laughs> Hopefully your soul ain't cold. The soul's code. Trigonics hold the secrets of the universe and rapidly expand your awareness of multi-dimensions. Trigonics are cosmic coding for the soul. You are an eternal spirit on a human journey. As a result, you may feel that earth is not your true home, but remember that you are here for a purpose. Expand your awareness, restructuring your physical and subtle bodies, beliefs, and realities. Birth your soul fully on earth if you feel alienated. Meditation triggers your soul's full potential and purpose. In reintegrating fragments of your soul, you bring about wholeness. Recognize the multidimensional breath of your own soul. Remain honest to achieve success. Reach beyond apparently apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate soul contracts. Heal soul, tr soul traumas and the etheric blueprint. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download higher frequency spiritual energies and integrate the light body. Your soul provides everything you need for well-being. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. It's great for the soul star, soul star and stellar gateway, for aquas and Pisceans, and for evolution to higher dimensions. Aquas, I think you should just watch, Scorpio. Hold on. Mm. Especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Because honestly, this is feeling very much like the Scorpio read in a lot of ways. Uh... Because you're expanding spiritually, you're growing spiritually, obviously. Some of you could have even just gone through a soul retrieval here and just went back to heal some major, major uh, childhood wounds. Uh, and there's a lot of sexual healing coming in here, especially with menolite and garnet. Um, and then bloodstone is more about health, but we'll get into bloodstone. But I'm just saying, Aquas, if you're dealing with Scorpio or you got Scorpio in your chart, you might want to watch it. You definitely might want to watch it, Okay. I mean, you might watch it anyway, but <laughs> all right, let's continue, Aquas, let's continue. Bloodstone, perseverance. Bloodstone has always had a powerful connection with maintaining vitality, regulating menstruation, and staunching uh, blood loss, as well as purifying the kidneys. You are a magical being. Um, I don't know that word. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, um, amalgam? Amalgam. I think that's how you'd say that. Amalgam of your individuality, your family, and your environment. Let go of the past. Look closely at your ancestral line. Recognize toxic patterns subconsciously ruining your life. <laughs> wow. Break away and be strong. You may be unnecessarily aggressive or defensive. Acknowledge mistakes and let inner disharmonies be transmuted. Detoxification and chaos precede transmutation. Perseverance is needed. Locked doors open. Obstacles are swept away and romance blossoms. Oh, what did I say? I really feel some sexual healing for you guys. Uh, preserve your good reputation. Recognize your enemies and keep them close. Do not be deceived. A farewell is called for. Moan, appro mo moan appropriately. I really feel like you guys will be having a lot of sex. Congratulations for those who will be. Uh, mourn appropriately and let go you are a spiritual warrior spirit stop it be assertive <laughs> they're bringing up sexual innuendos nourish your blood and and you and you revitalize your whole body the frequency of the stone is earthy it, it purifies and aligns the lower chakras the lower chakras so far two out of the three cards are about lower chakra energy garnet i know affects the sacral anyway Great for Arians, Libras, and Pisceans, and for freedom from the past. Let's read Garnet. Aquas, I'm jealous. I want to be an Aqua. I want to be an Aqua for September. Garnet, passion. Garnet is a rejuvenating stone believed to protect against evil and terrifying dreams and to attract love. You are a passionate soul with a courageous heart. Be confident and constant. Let go of your inner demons, taboos, inhibitions, and fantasies. Recognize, recognize self-sabotage and expand your awareness into all that you can be. Virtue matters to you. You are capable of great devotion to a cause or relationship and have a strong survival instinct. Take action now. A mystery is solved. Have courage. There is a way out. Turn a crisis into a learning challenge. If danger approaches, stay calm. You are protected. Be emotionally honest with yourself and others. You may attract a partner for sexual healing. 
That's what it says. Okay? That's what it says. Make no long-term commitment, as it may fizzle out once the purpose is fulfilled. Finding an appropriate outlet for your passions and emotions creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is medium. It's great for the base, the sacral, the heart, and energizes all the other chakras. Great for Leos, Virgos, Cappies, and Aquas, hey, and expressing your soul's passion. You ready, Aqua? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so ready to see what's why you need these stones. I feel like we're going to get the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. I wouldn't be surprised if we even get the Devil. Or the Ace of Wands. Or the Page of Wands. I would not be surprised. Or the Knight of Wands. I would not be surprised. Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of September? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of September? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of September? Why do my aquas... Let's see here. Interesting. Two of Swords. Moon and Libra energy. You can't figure out what you need and what you want. This is interesting, Aqua. I feel like you're you're so in your crown that it, it's almost hard for you and like your upper chakras, it's almost hard for you to kind of get grounded in the 3D a little bit and to really see the reality of situations because you're not seeing it right now. You're not seeing it right now. You're a little blocked off here. You're a little blocked off. You need to open up, Aqua. You need to open up. Oh, Page of Swords. Someone's watching you. What the hell? Aqua, someone's watching you. Hardcore. Someone's watching you. Watching and waiting. It's like... <laughs> Are they gonna make a choice? Are they gonna budge? Are they going to move? Are they going to do anything? Aqua, someone's looking at you like that. Like, seriously, someone's looking at you like that. Why do my Aquas need these stones? Why do my aquas need these stones for the month of September? I feel sexual frustration. There's sexual frustration. Very like, I hate that. I hate that term. But like blue balls energy. Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of September? Why do my aquas need these crystals for the month of September? Why do my aquas need these crystals? We only got one other card out here. Wow, a lot of swords, Aqua. Queen of Swords, Libra energy could also be air or water. Yeah, this is your energy. So Aqua, someone's watching you, waiting for you to make a decision on something, waiting for you to take action on something. But you're in a Queen of Swords stance. You're not taking action on shit. You're not. Queens don't go. They receive, okay? Let's make that clear. Queens receive. You're in a receiving stance. L look at these energies, by the way. Look at these energies. You're in a receiving stance. I'm also getting a little bit of like a mother-son energy. I don't know what this is about. If there's a mother-son scenario here, I feel like the son is older. Older. And it's like the son, maybe what, an aqua. I feel like this is actually... For those in this scenario, I feel like there's at least three people involved. So Aqua, keep in mind, you can be any one of these people. But Aqua, I'm feeling a mother-son energy where it's like the son, the son, the child is watching someone, waiting for someone to make a decision, waiting for someone to make a move. But they're being backed by their mother. I don't know what that's about. Like being supported by their mother. Mother? Mutta? Who's watching me? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Um... It's almost like a like a command. It's like almost like a team effort. I don't know what that's about. Like a team effort of mother and son and the son's waiting for you to make a move on something or to do something, to take action on something. This is interesting. That's only for some of you. Others, Aqua, you're in the stance of waiting for more information. Yeah, you're trying to gain clarity on something is what I'm getting. For those that don't resonate with that mother-son energy that I picked up, Aqua's, you're in a stance of gaining clarity on something. You want all the facts before you do anything. And someone's just waiting, waiting and watching you, watching you sit on your throne, not doing anything. In their mind, they're like, Aqua's not doing shit. That's what's going on in their mind. But you're gaining clarity. You're gaining clarity, Aqua. Overall energy, look at that Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy can also be Aries or Leo. I feel a lot of sexual frustration here. 
Once again, a lot of anger and resentment. It's coming from the Page of Swords. It's coming from the Page of Swords. Whoever's watching you, Aqua, they're frustrated. Sexually and emotionally, very frustrated. They're very restless and they, they've, they're almost at their max. They're almost at their max here. They're almost at their max, okay? This also applies for those in that mother-son scenario. You know, it's interesting. For those in that mother-son scenario, I feel a little bit of energy where it's like, you know, Aqua, maybe you, hold on. You know, Aqua, maybe you, you know, had a thing with the son and it didn't work out. And maybe the mother's a little pissed at you. <laughs> maybe the mother's like, you hurt my little boy. <laughs> um, and now the son's like still watching you and the mother's like as just as angry as, as they are about you just not doing shit about it. It's not your job to do shit about it. You're in the you're in the mode of gaining clarity, trying to understand a situation, trying to get all the answers before you do anything. Okay? Interesting. Very interesting. Whew. Okay. Pisces, last but not least. Last but not least, let me get some water. Mm. Okay. Pisces. What crystals do my Pisces need for the month of September? What crystals do my Pisces need for the month of September? What crystals do my Pisces need for the month of September? What crystals do my Pisces need for the month of September? Oh, that was quick. Ooh, Citrine. I like that. Confidence and abundance. Pisces, you're focused on your money. You're focused on your money and you're supposed to be right now. You're supposed to be focused on your money and your confidence and your stability. I really like that. I'm also getting more creative energy off of you, just like I did off of Aqua. You could be a cusper, but not necessarily. Um, or you could just have both in your chart. Uh, but Pisces, yeah, I am getting something though about creativity. It's almost like inspired energy. Uh, and you're trying to implement that in your work or like into your the the pentacles aspect of your life. Ooh, transformation, Moldavite. So Scorpio had this one, Pisces, so I'm not going to reiterate it, but Moldavite came out for you. I'll show it again later, but so if you want this description to see if you need this crystal, go ahead and look at Scorpio, okay? Okay. See what other stuff you need. Yeah. You're you're going through some major changes, Pisces. And I feel like it's mostly in regards to career and finances, but you're transforming. You're transforming. What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of September? You're getting stronger too. You're getting stronger. So you're hitting the gym a lot more too, which is great. All right. So those are the only two. Citrine and Moldavite. So like I said, I won't be reiterating Moldavite. So please go ahead and watch Scorpio for that one. Scorpio, you could be dealing with Aquas or Pisceans or Pisces or Aquas. You could be dealing with Scorpios because Aqua had, uh, oh shoot, Metalite, which is a stone that Scorpio had and Pisces. You have Moldavite, which is a stone that Scorpio had. So it's really interesting. But let's go ahead and read Citrine. Where's my book? I keep losing track of my book. Citrine, abundance. A stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Remember, you are an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Joyful play creates a wonderful world. I was going to say a wonderful life. A wonderful, wonderful world. Be grateful, for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism become emotionally balanced letting feelings flow naturally take time out for joyful play self-regard heals a damaged child i don't know why that was hard for me to say abundance is all around you you attract success and prosperity stop worrying be optimistic and allow life to happen trust your intuition and perception consult the wise child within your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct if there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of the stone is high. It cleanses and activates all the chakras. Great for Aries, Geminis, Leos, and Libras, and for embodying abundance. Ooh, Pisces, I like it. I love that for you. I feel like this is going to be a really positive one. 
Some of you might be dealing with some family shit. Some of you guys might be dealing with some family shit. Um, but this energy feels really good. Feels really, really good. Why do my Pisceans need these stones? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of September? Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of September? Okay. Why do my Pisceans need these stones for the month of September? King of Swords. Wow. Oh, strong energy. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. This is a hell of a lot of clarity and I'm hearing decisiveness. Decisiveness, strategy, like eagle eye focus, Pisces. Eagle eye focus. I feel like this is energy you're harnessing. This is energy you're harnessing. It's very strong. I almost like want to be quiet. It's very captivating. You're so focused right now. Um, this could be someone when you're dealing with, but Pisces, I really feel like this is you. I really feel like that's you. Why do my Pisceans? Oh. Oh my. We got an ace of cups we got an ace of cups here it's interesting because pisces i know you're really focused you're focused on your abundance you're focused on your pentacles i feel like you're also really focused on giving yourself love i feel like you're really 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 focused on giving yourself love in that process and i think that's part of your transformation with the moldavite which is why you're needing that i think you haven't had this kind of focus on yourself in a long time and for some of you you this might be the first time you've had this much focus on yourself and what's good for you i really like that energy really like that energy let's see what else we have here why do my piscians need these crystals for the month of september oh yeah oh yeah why do my piscians need these crystals for the month of september Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now we have the star in reverse, Aquarian energy, with the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. You have lost faith along the way, Pisces. I feel like that's what you've been struggling with. I feel like you've had, you haven't had faith in, in the spirit or universe that things were going to work out for you or that you were going to see justice in things. Um, sorry my tattoo um or that you weren't going to get abundance i feel like you had lost faith in that but the wheel's starting to turn forward because you're finally giving that love to yourself you're paying attention to you making yourself number one and having that eagle eye focus on what you want to do and how you want to get there this is the end, end result of your transformation okay a hell of a lot more confidence and a lot of creative energy and as much for those having family issues taking charge in the family to deal with shit because you had lost faith at one point but now the wheel's turning and you're not going to be lacking in confidence anymore when it comes to any of that overall four of wands in reverse aries energy something has definitely faltered in your life a foundation basically something that had to be built so whether this is your family environment because for some of this is just purely family or this is like a career of yours that you were trying to build or even a relationship has fallen apart something's fallen apart and put you in a place of like I keep trying, but why does it not work? I, I keep trying. I keep putting effort into building things and building foundations or in a foundation that just keeps, seeps, keeps, seems to keep keep crumbling on me or like only seems to have instability. And I want stability. Universe, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Well, the wheel starts to move forward as you gain more confidence and give yourself more of that self-love and go through that transformation to finally have that ego eye focus to be like, oh, I'm focusing too much on other people and other shit <laughs> as opposed to myself. It's time to give to me. I love that. Sorry, Pisces. Mm. Mm. You're learning to give to yourself and not others anymore. It's beautiful energy. And Pisces, I think that's really working for you quite a bit. And I wouldn't be surprised if your career booms so quickly that even like by the end of the year, you might be in a whole different place in your life. And you're gonna be like, Oh my god, like, that was a crazy few months. Because when you start giving to yourself like this, 
and not taking your eyes off of it, that, that creates amazing results. It literally turned the wheel of fortune in your favor. You might have been in a place of negative self-talk. You might have been in a place of just feeling like the world, the world was against you. You're going to get over that. You're going to get over the, that as you give love to yourself and go through this transformation and really have a lot more confidence in what you want to invest in, which is now you. Okay? Wow, Pisces. That was a way to end the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing these kind of videos for you guys. And I'm glad I started to incorporate, excuse me, the crystal meth healing because I think a lot of you found it very helpful. I hope you guys have a really great night and I hope you, to see you guys soon. Okay. Namaste.